divine feminines welcome back guys i hope you guys are doing well today truly truly i do honey i woke up laughing and smiling and today is a beautiful day like i don't know the energy just feels so much lighter and better <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy your what is today wednesday hope you guys enjoy your wednesday period okay it's hump day it's the middle of the week yeah it's wednesday the 14th all right, Jim. Uh, I'm gonna call you Jim Gems. <clears throat> you guys could be Gemini's watching me, or something could be significant about a Gemini. Okay, I was definitely about to say Jim Gems. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Divine Feminine, what's going on with you guys? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, <clears throat> the support, the donations, and your um, all your super thanks and all the stuff you guys <clears throat> add to the channel. The good energy. You know, even the bad, honey. We all got. We gotta talk about all of it. So, I appreciate it all. <laughs> okay. Um, sending all that love back to you all tenfold. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> all right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that a sense of harm. Divine friends and our loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. <clears throat> Block any interference. Interference is like be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my divine feminines and protect me as I channel the messages for divine fans. I keep wanting to say gem gem. Something about Gemini is significant. Okay, so let's see what comes out of this. Big old bet today. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> so we got overlooked, not being not being valued or appreciated, undermined. So people see you. Period. There's no way that people can overlook you here. We got copying, unoriginal, and super basic in the reverse. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm, what else? <laughs> in danger to themselves put in harm's way causes unnecessary drama and mechanical thinking logically and without emotion <clears throat> bottom of the deck is big yikes major embarrassment feeling shameful distorted messages scrambled words misleading stuck energy twisted messages Locked up, mental anguish, paying dues, stuck, jail time, physical barriers, warrants out on them, child. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys. So people see who you truly are, Divine Feminine. Um... I don't really want to say you have proven yourself because it ain't shit to prove to no damn body but, but spirit, honey. <laughs> so, all right, you know, I don't want to say that, but I feel like somebody here was your doppelganger or something like that. They were copying you or trying to be like you in whatever way. I don't know. They was out here doing something with your name, honey, sparing your name or trying to project whatever the fuck they be doing out here onto you. And that shit, they getting embarrassed for it. Are they getting embarrassed for it? Period. You could be a lever here. <laughs> or a lever could be significant. Somebody's name could be Mariah. Mariah. Okay. Yeah, nine of cups reverse. Somebody here could have been trying to, like I said, smear your name or um, defame you in some sort of way here. Okay, six of cups reverse, nine of cups reverse. <clears throat> Somebody's name could be Tia. Okay. Yeah, Six of Cups Reverse, Nine of Cups Reverse, Page of Pentacles. For some of you guys, I was getting that too. I just didn't want to say shit until, you know, because not everybody's a damn tarot reader. <laughs> but the Page of Pentacles, 
Definitely could be a reader. <clears throat> Definitely could be a reader here, or you could do some sort of magic. You could do earth magic, or you could be into that kind of stuff. Um, esoteric knowledge and occult knowledge here, you could be into. Um... Child, look. <laughs> so, okay. Let's just see what this is. What's overlooked here? In, in the reverse. The five of wands reverse. Leo, Saturn. So, <clears throat> people see that there is no competition. Whether you work in a competitive field, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's a damn reader. You're doing something else. Whatever you do. You're definitely not being overlooked no more. People people know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Period. Divine Feminine. People know that there is no competition and you're not fighting or arguing with no damn body. For what? <clears throat> For what? When, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all are trendsetters. You do something, everybody else do it. And I feel like you don't give a fuck. That's, that's good. That means you are what you do it it people admire it people like it it's, it's one thing to be like that right but then and but it's another thing for somebody to take something of yours or copy you or do whatever and then try to talk shit or be like oh well, they took it from me and it's like bitch shut the fuck up i feel like that's how somebody is with their weird ass whoever this is what's overlooked reverse with the five of wands reverse yeah the devil reverse child <laughs> So, yeah, I feel like you have um, taken your power back in the situation with the devil in the reverse. Okay, you have learned how to balance your shadow side or you've detached from some sort of devil energy. Whoever around you is the devil. You've detached from it or it's like the devil himself don't want to argue or fight with you no more or compete because <clears throat> they already know. Take your ass on somewhere. <laughs> somewhere else with the fuck shit, honey. What's the five of wands reverse? So some sort of conflict is coming to an end here. Or whatever this competition was. Okay, four of cups. And this secret competition. Because I feel like you're not out here competing. You don't even know that you're probably in <clears throat> millions of competitions with people. People are in secret competition with you. And you don't even know about it. <clears throat> Cancer moon here with the um, four of cups. So yeah. Um, somebody's getting rejected or there's some sort of like missed opportunity here. <clears throat> yeah, so this is cut this is coming to it because somebody is getting rejected. It's like I don't know, what's five ones reverse four cups? The magician here. Something is out of stalemate for somebody. Virgo Gemini energy with the magician. You could um, be manifesting right now, collective. I feel like you're just reflecting. You could be reflecting over things from the past. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're supposed to. So you can <clears throat> do what you got to do with those emotions and keep moving forward. But the magician is having a mental clarity about something. So this is you either having mental clarity or this is somebody else. And somebody here could have listened to whoever this, this unoriginal, super basic ass hoe is or whatever the fuck. And missed an opportunity with you. Now now somebody sees clear. With the magician, it's like um you're manifesting what you are desiring or or you're creating what you want here. You have all the tools and the resources here to manifest. <clears throat> Somebody's third eyes wide open, honey. Somebody could be going through an awakening. Well, oh, this is you. Mm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely somebody here is jealous or a hater. Very much so to be doing dark magic and all kind of dumb shit. So let's uh let me see. What's what's who got rejected? What's the four cups? Eight four eight on the clock. Okay, somebody that's watching you. Yeah, work, eight of pentacles. Something about your work. <clears throat> Page of Swords is speaking up against some sort of injustice. So somebody could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoever this is that's watching you, you can now be rejecting this person because, I mean, it's too much, you know. 
What's that word? What's that phrase? It's too much water under the bridge or something like that. It's just, it's just too much that went on here. All they can do is watch you. I guess. But this is like um, somebody getting some, like getting educated or taught something or somebody is teaching someone something. You could be a teacher. You're a leader in whatever the fuck it is that you do, though. Whatever it is. This person here could be thinking about you a lot. So you could be feeling like their energy. The page of swords is anxiety as, as well as paranoia. Or somebody like planning or strategizing something. What, what's the page of swords? What they watching for? The world. Yeah, I mean. So somebody, for some of you, whatever you do is online. Somebody could be getting some sort of information about you or from you online. You're doing something online here. The world is, is celebrating its um, achievements. Uh, maybe whatever you do or whatever you're saying is, is worldwide, is global. You you could be a teacher. You could be educating people about some things here, whatever this is. <clears throat> but the world, yeah, this is you feeling whole and complete and you're going towards a new beginning. I feel like you just feel good you're supposed to like what the fuck so somebody's watching you online and four of cups it's like they're they just sitting there i guess thinking about the past reflecting about what happened whatever the fuck <laughs> excuse me What's a magician? <clears throat> Six of Wands, yeah. Uh, that's you, Divine Feminine. You're a powerful manifester. Man or woman watching me. Leo, Jupiter. So, yeah, this is you getting a lot of attention. Recognition. Somebody recognize your ass, all right? They do. Yeah, look, a community with the Queen of Wands. A strong Aries energy. Aries Venus, you could be Aries Sun, or you have Aries somewhere in your chart. I know my Aries placements are really strong, so it could be the same for you. And I tell, I like, I wrote on my community tab this morning about graduating. You definitely graduated here, child. One, two, three, four at a time, or honey. As soon as I looked up, okay, period. So this is you feeling confident or just courageous brave i feel like you're very very strong you can be very funny the queen of wands is very funny very feisty you're passionate you're bold like you just feel good honey like i said why wouldn't you yeah nine of pentacles you're just so happy so free so graceful like you don't give a fuck about these hoes or nothing else you probably don't even know half the shit going on because spirit got you protected spirit don't want you involved with no Okay, I'm going to be cool today. I'm not going to... If I feel the need to, but right now I'm, I'm cool. Like, I'm, I got... Shoot, I want to go outside. It's a nice day outside. So, anyways, what's the magician with the Six of Wands? I'm trying to get through these readings, honey. Give you all your messages. Yeah, so the Five of Cups are reversed. So, this is you getting over something. You're moving on. You're not crying over spilled milk. Or you're just happy. You're celebrating. <laughs> people fuck with you. And if they don't, I feel like you don't care either. But it's always nice to have people that really, truly fuck with you. So, I feel like that's what you got. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Star, honey. I'm telling you. This is beautiful energy. Okay. So. Mm. What's the devil? What, is, what did Divine Feminine detach from? What's the devil reverse? Okay, a know-it-all, the knight of swords in the reverse, <laughs> the follower, somebody's a follower, a coward. Okay, or is somebody here you can't teach? You can't tell this person nothing. They, they're not teachable. I feel like for you to be where, you, where you're where you at, you had, to you had to get taught something, right? You had to learn something. You're always going to have to learn throughout life. That's how you gain wisdom, knowledge, and that's how you're able to maneuver. So whoever this knight of swords is, you can't tell them shit. That's that Gemini energy, whoever the fuck this is. That's crazy. <laughs> Geminis are rather very, very smart, but you know, low vibration of Geminis are horrible too. Very much so. So, I don't know, but the Knight of Souls in reverse, they, they feel like they know everything. They're very impatient, very impulsive. Um, 
this could be to somebody that has a criminal background and you know i don't like even like saying that because it's like okay well i know people that have criminal backgrounds and they turn out to be good people <laughs> so i don't know but i'm just giving you the details honey or whoever this is um <clears throat> What's the double reverse, not a soldier reverse? The Emperor? Aries? Doesn't have to be. You could have learned how to be more structured, more disciplined, more focused, Divine Feminine, but this could be somebody else. <clears throat> this Emperor is a follower? That's crazy. <laughs> or you detach from this Knight of Swords in reverse for an Emperor. A real masculine man or woman or whatever the fuck. This could be you. The Emperor could be like a boss, a CEO, an entrepreneur, a leader in their community. That could be you still. But let's see. What's the what's the Knight of Swords reverse? Okay, wow, the Empress. Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Empress here. Definitely your energies are balanced for sure. Your masculine and your feminine are balanced. Your yin and yang is balanced. Okay. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is a trendsetter. <laughs> They're a trendsetter for sure. You're the original. <laughs> you're, you're the one and not the fucking two, period. Taurus, Libra energy. <laughs> Virgo, Mercury with the Ten of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this is you breaking some sort of generational curses here. You you graduated to like being the Empress or the Emperor, whoever you are watching. Yeah, so Ten of Pentacles in reverse is what? Faking their wealth. This could be somebody is faking their wealth here. This could be somebody in your family, a family member, or um This maybe this Knight of Swords went somewhere impulsively and decided to go be with somebody else that was faking their wealth. I don't fucking know, but I feel like yeah, you. Uh, I, don't, mm, I don't even know what to say really. Somebody could have been trying to like steal your inheritance, steal your wealth. Yeah, by trying to be like you, copy you. Like that's like weird. They're trying to get you kicked out of your own fucking destiny and spot so they could take over. And bitch, you know, y'all bitches know y'all ain't got that much power. <laughs> like, you are not God, honey. Somebody definitely, Knight of Souls in reverse, somebody definitely got a God complex. They really do. They feel like they knew everything about you. They feel like they could take whatever. It's like, bitch, please. Bitch, please. So I feel like instead, whoever this is, I don't know if you had a contract with this person or fucking not, honey. Uh, look. But you are very gifted. I feel like you're very abundant. You know how to bring in the bag. You know how to bring in that check. You know how to manifest. <clears throat> you're the empress. You're very fruitful. You're abundant, period. What's the, what's the, who the emperor? The eight of pentacles. Okay, yeah, three of pentacles. So for some of you, this emperor is somebody, I kind of like getting the energy of them being rather newer. The lovers, yeah, the king of wands reverse the death card. Mm. If this is somebody coming into your life, this is a commitment here with the eight of pentacles. Definitely something going on with your work. You could definitely be an entrepreneur, man or woman. Eight of pentacles is uh, self mastery, <clears throat> as well as whatever you do for work, you're you're very skilled at it. You're you're a master at it. Um, Eight of Pentacles is seeing progress with something here. Staying focused. The Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles is focused. Somebody's a really hard worker here. Is there more with this Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles? tower what's the tower very scorpio okay yeah so 
the tower we got virgo energy with the knight of pentacles reverse so yeah i feel like there's a commitment coming in with this emperor though whoever that emperor is you you probably have met this person already their energy been coming up strong whoever this is that you've been meeting i mean that you that you're going to meet or be with or whatever they match your energy now um with the knight of pentacles reverse in the tower whoever this is this shit is over with this person you know, this person is very superficial. They're very materialistic. I feel like um, they they always make promises with y'all that they just don't keep ever. They're very irresponsible. They're unreliable. You can't depend on them for shit. <clears throat> this person is very much so weak. And... Mm, But there's a tower here happening with this damn person. I feel like this is divine intervention. The divine is intervening in this person's life because, I mean, in this in this connection that y'all had, it's, this shit is over with. And something is breaking down because somebody here know damn well they shouldn't be treating no damn empress like whatever the fuck they've been doing. Being inconsistent, in and out, Knight of Pentacles is kind of like that. <clears throat> Yeah, they 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 missing an opportunity here, period. And so now I feel like your focus is elsewhere <laughs> with this Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. You didn't you didn't pass some sort of test, Divine Feminine. So mm -hmm. I'm hearing somebody was bribed to do you this way though. Somebody Anyways, what's copying unoriginal and super basic? The sun reverse, Leo energy, the star. <clears throat> yeah, this could be you in the public eye, shining, just like you always will be doing. <laughs> like, okay. If you have Aquarius in your chart, Leo, Aquarius, that's polar opposite signs. Sister signs. So, I mean, the sun reverse, what? Somebody's unhappy, they're miserable. This is the sun in reverse is like being optimistic or having a big ass fucking ego. <laughs> being disappointed or not being too enthused. Somebody had high hopes for something and they're disappointed that something didn't go the way that they wanted it to go. You're still shining or you're still hopeful. You're still optimistic. You're still faithful. This energy is definitely opposite from this one. <laughs> you're blessed and you're very happy. This person over here is very upset and pessimistic. They're oppressed. What's the sun reverse? Child, please. They need to get out your energy with this shit. Bitch, you lost. So this weak-ass competition you got Divine Feminine in that they don't even know shit about, bitch, you lost it. You should feel stupid. 23-23 on the timer. You should feel like this. You look dumb. The fuck? Should leave just be just stay in your place. Stay where the fuck you belong at. And that's what I'm saying. Like people need to really know what the fuck they're doing when they deal with certain people. I don't understand. Or when they try to like it's like bitch, you'd be better having this person on your team than to go against them. That's stupid. Really dumb of you and whoever else that participated in this foolish shit. So I'm not in the mood to curse you bitches out today, but I will if I get there. If I if I feel like I'm saying every time I see dumb shit, it's just I'm gonna have something to say about it because I just don't like it. A lot of shit just be stupid, and I'm just gonna have something to say about it every time. <laughs> like it's just what it is. You guys be seeing ten ten because this is dumb. It's all for nothing when somebody could have joined forces with you, but instead they went against you for what? So the sun in reverse, ten of reverse. You know, somebody here could be sick. They don't feel well. This could be like chronic fatigue or just like a hella hella stress, feeling overwhelmed. Okay, but I feel like somebody has was doing something. It's like beating a dead horse. They've been doing this shit for too long or doing this shit over and over again, and you're still something is still not working. Or <clears throat> this Queen of Pentacles in reverse could have gotten some sort of offer revoked from you. It's like okay, bitch. 
this person is not the only person out here with a damn offer for divine feminine. <laughs> and if they don't give it off for divine feminine, divine feminine removes themselves. We don't give a fuck about no damn. What's this sun reverse with the ten of wands reverse? Somebody's so fucking pressed with they losing ass. Two of wands and the seven of swords in the damn reverse. Aquarius moon, or Aries Mars. So the seven of swords in reverse, somebody here got caught doing something, caught in the act, or somebody got caught being a two-faced hoe with that seven of swords reverse. <clears throat> Two of wands could be like somebody here anticipating something. Oh, okay, yeah, so this is, this is somebody here planning and strategizing. Two of wands is planning or anticipating something or the planning to steal credit for your work. Seven of swords in the reverse. And they've been trying to, they've been doing this shit for a long fucking time here. <laughs> your guys is right here, honey. This King of Cups and the Six of Swords right here, that's your spirit, guys. <laughs> that's definitely a guide moving you forward. What's the what's the uh what's the two of wands? What's two of wands? Two of wands could be a partnership. Yeah, three of swords, a, a stupid ass ex of yours or ex of some damn bodies, a third party. They need to mind their damn business, but they losing ass. Somebody's just a loser. I can't stand it, honey. Libra Saturn. <laughs> Now I feel like somebody's trying to run away from their consequences. The two of ones also could talk about feeling lost or wanderless or they just don't know what to do. Somebody having to make a decision or whatever. What's seven of ones reverse? Or this could be you moving on. Like you're planning for your future. What's seven of ones reverse? Man? Nine of pentacles in the damn reverse. A gold digger. So yeah, somebody intentionally planned whatever this is. They intentionally planned to try to take your spot. And I feel like this is about a damn connection or a relationship. <clears throat> so somebody planned to what? Take your spot? This nine of pentacles in reverse? A scam artist? Could be a Virgo woman child. Could be a, somebody could have a Virgo Venus placement or whatever the fuck. But whoever this is, they like to live beyond their means or they just embarrassing really. <laughs> Like, really just embarrassing. And I feel like they got caught in the act here. Trying to steal credit for your work or, you know, being two-faced, being a damn loser. Now they're trying to, what, run away from their consequences or... I don't know. I just feel like hoes like this, they don't give a fuck. So, they're probably not trying to run away from nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the star? <clears throat> three of Pentacles. What's the star? Three of Pentacles. You guys could definitely be star seeds. Yeah, look, damn. The Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Moon. We got Capricorn, Mars. So, yeah, you, you big shit popping. Whatever the fuck you do online, whatever it is, whatever you do in the public eye, I don't know if you. Go around the world. I don't know what you do, honey. People's different. Some of y'all could definitely be readers like I am. Or you do something spiritual. But for others of you, if you're not, it don't even matter. You're doing something that God wants your ass to do. So... Yeah, that's nine pentacles right there. Six and three. There's nine pentacles here. This bitch is a fraud. <laughs> Whoever this is is fraudulent as fuck. Just period. So I feel like, you know, with the star, I mean, this is your wishes coming true here. I, I really feel like you are very, very gifted. You're very talented. People here are patronizing you or giving you gifts, or this is your own gifts and your own talents. You get literally, this is spirit handing you down whatever the fuck it is that you need to share with other people. People that need help. Three of Pentacles, I feel like um, 
it's how powerful you are. Like this is the power of three here. Like you, you, you're a powerful person. I feel like you get it from your spirit team. Like your spirit team handed you different gifts and talents in order for you to to heal and help people grow or whatever this is that you be doing. But three of pentacles too. You're a very hard worker. You're very very skilled. Very talented for sure. For sure. So yeah, I feel like wish fulfillment is coming in for you. Your wishes are coming true. Definitely something here is balanced with your finances is going to be um, something with your finances that's, you know, becoming balanced. That's going to take place. Um, this could be new skill sets or new, new things that maybe you didn't know that you had, or you could be getting a new job, new path, new pathways are opening up for you, for you to share more of your, your gifts and your talents and your abilities. Okay. This could be collaborations, partnerships <clears throat> that are coming in that are very, it's going to be very prosperous. Yeah. Mm. How embarrassing. What's in danger to themselves? Put in harm's way, causing unnecessary drama. Exactly. When they could have just shut the fuck up and sat back and just, or like, I, I don't understand people like this, bro. It's like, it's like, it gotta be like a mental illness for you to be sitting up here trying to do this. Wow. Four of Wands, yeah, Aries, Venus. So, um, like I said, you, you're graduating. This is definitely stability, security, but I feel like too, this is, um, <clears throat> like, uh, you have supporters. Four of Wands, people support you, or this could be a new home, so Congratulations. Or um, this is this is you coming into union with yourself. What's put in harm's way with the four of wands? Or okay, king of wands reverse. So I feel like you didn't graduate from this damn king of wands in reverse. Whoever this is is reckless, bitter. They're all over the damn place. A tyrant. Or this is just somebody here that got a block sacral chakra. Like they they're not stepping up and and being assertive, or they're not a leader. This person, the King of Wands is, is something like a mentor. You know, they're a leader too. They're a teacher. They're, they could be very wise, but I feel like somebody too stuck in their ego with the King of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in reverse is very competitive. <clears throat> wow. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, honey, you are blessed. <laughs> There are so many blessings coming in, uh, Divine Feminine. What's the Four of Wands? Something about a definitely Four of Wands is community, too. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, you've graduated from your past. Something about your past. This is you definitely doing a lot of inner child healing, for sure. I feel like, too, with the Six of Pentacles, your confirmation, the Six of Pentacles is you also learning how to value yourself. I feel like you teach people how to do the same. You make people feel good about themselves. You bring hope back into, like the world i mean so many people that are hopeless and lost 9 11 is on the clock i feel like you add you you bring that to the world like for a lot of people that's sad that people don't want you don't want other people to do spirits work it's like bitch y'all hoes need help <laughs> like something is wrong with people i don't know what be going on but six of cups in the reverse I mean, this could be somebody from your past that won't release the past. I won't let it go. But I feel like some of you guys have definitely, you have just outgrown a lot of shit. A lot of people, a lot of people from your past just don't even resonate with you. With you. They don't, you don't resonate with them no more, really. Of course, they're going to always resonate with you because your light is going to irritate the fuck out of them until they grow the fuck up. You guys could be seeing two, two, two. But I feel like if that's the case, if it irritates them that bad for them to want to like do nasty shit to you, they just need to stop watching you, leave you the fuck alone. If you don't like somebody or you feel like they too this or they too that, why the fuck you keep watching them then? You got to love that person. Because I don't watch nobody that I don't love. All you bitches are blocked and you are non-existent in my world. <laughs> like that's, I can't, how the fuck am I supposed to live watching and stalking you hoes all day? It got to be something that I fuck with, that I like about you. A lot of you bitches, I don't like you. So I'm not watching you. And that's just common sense. That somebody clearly they don't have. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is definitely somebody that ain't got no damn common sense. And I just don't understand it. We were all born with it, I feel like. We was all born with something. 
why the fuck are you bitches not doing the work that you need to do to understand what the fuck you are and who the fuck you are instead of hating on somebody else? Like, that's weird as fuck. That's weird bitch shit. And you should be embarrassed. You really should. What's the four of wands with the six of cups reverse? Eight of cups in the damn reverse. Pisces, Saturn. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on real quick. I want to see something because why the fuck are they calling? Okay. That's taking a long time to come up. Eight of Cups in a reverse. Oh. Okay, I see what they talk about now. Let me see. Okay, anyways, um, sorry about that. Uh, the eight of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is somebody here that's like, oh, this is somebody that just got abandonment issues. I guess abandonment wounds or. Somebody hasn't healed their inner child. This six cups in reverse alternatively could mean that somebody's just naive. They're gullible. Like, they just fall for anything. They don't stand for shit. They just fall for whatever. Eight of cups in reverse. Somebody here could be stuck with somebody from their damn past. Eight of cups in reverse. They're stagnant or somebody's faking their happiness somewhere. What's the eight of cups reverse? Yeah, look, Ten of Swords. What's Eight of Cups reverse Ten of Swords? Gemini energy. Yeah, all this gossiping and slander or somebody is cursed. They ass is cursed. And instead, of, and I feel like that for some of you, that's what you help with. Like you're a modern day exorcist. <laughs> like that's what I'm getting. Like you, you can actually like do shit like that. And somebody's like, oh, okay. Definitely. That's what I got for Leo too the other day. Um... Uh ow. Um that uh somebody here needs you to reverse a curse now or something. Definitely Gemini energy with the Ten of Swords. So yeah, something I feel like obviously comes is coming to an abrupt end, but I feel like somebody stays stagnant or they stuck, busy, you know, too busy talking about your ass. Like, I, I just, I don't know. When this come out? Page of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, whoever this is, this person has a lot of inner child healing that they need to do, period. They, they, they're they too busy wanting to be admired or seen as somebody innocent instead of really being a human. Bitch, we all make mistakes. We're no, nobody is fucking perfect. And I feel like this person feels like that you are arrogant or you're cocky or you're sitting on your high horse it's like bitch it's not even about that ain't nobody moving like that that's how you think of this person because you're insecure <laughs> like that's what i'm saying like you can't make somebody want to go in their shell or feel like oh they need to stoop down to your fucking level your low vibrational ass level because you're you're too much for them divine feminine it's like oh well, you need to you need to pipe down or you feel like you blah 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 it's like bitch no you're insecure you need to fucking stand up you need to grow up and stand the fuck up and stop acting like, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to be perfect. Nobody is fucking perfect. And I'm pretty sure this divine, they wouldn't be a divine feminine if they thought they was perfect. That's where you bitches are just like, I don't understand that kind of human analogy. Like, I don't really understand that language. I don't really understand that. How the fuck do you think that somebody is better than you? You know what I mean? Like... And if you feel like that, if you feel like somebody is trying to be better than you or something like that, then don't hang with them. Don't fuck with them. Like, that's that's weird. That's weird, too. It's weird to think that you're better than somebody. And it's also weird to think that somebody is supposed to stoop down to your level because that's your insecurities. Like, you think that they're better. Nobody said that they were better. They didn't say that they were better than you. That's what you think. Both sides of the coin is weird. <laughs> like, 929 on the timer. Motherfuckers be mad that you just feel a certain kind of way about yourself. You love yourself. You care about yourself. You move a certain way. It's just like, bro, get a grip. Get a fucking grip here. Mm 
abuse, like, all because they don't want to heal and they don't want to work on their own inner child healing. They want to make it seem like, oh, well, shit, I can dig up something on them to make them look like they something, 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 or they doing this or they doing that to ruin your reputation and all that. It's like, bitch, yeah. Y'all hoes is lost. Lost souls. That's what you're here for, Divine Feminine. But you can't save everybody, honey. <laughs> Whatever you do. Whatever you do, you can't save every damn body. Some people just lost. They're just going to be that way forever. And I just feel like, yeah, if you're entitled to be like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> get away from me. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be around you. Your energy is, is toxic. You're not trying to change it. Get away from me. Period. So, I don't know. Eh, what's... Okay. Page of Cups. Somebody secretly admires you. And maybe somebody, whoever this is, that secretly admires you, they're around a bunch of people that's gossiping about you or something like that. Like, okay, that's dumb too. With Six Cups Reverse. I feel like there's two energies here that lost their spot with you. Yeah, Ten of Cups. You guys definitely could be seeing Ten Ten. There's three Tens here. Or there's four tens. One, two, yeah, three, four. Damn, something over, over. But there could be two people here, two, two masculine energies, but it doesn't have to be. I see a karmic feminine. Or oh, this is the same person, I don't know. But yeah, this is you feeling whole. Ten of Cups is you feeling whole or complete within yourself. Definitely some of y'all could be going into a divine connection. Um, or you had, you've been had, I mean, a divine connection was always supposed to be here for you anyways. Somebody here knows that too. They, they didn't want you to get to that point. They wanted your reputation or something about you to be ruined so bad that you couldn't even get further in your life. You wouldn't be able to have a family, marriage, children, um, blessings, abundance, all kind of shit. Somebody here just try, tried to ruin you. They really did. And I feel like you're clearing up some sort of gossip and slander. Not that you even have to, but I feel like that's just what your purpose is, like to speak or to, to communicate or to you learn how to set boundaries or whatever the fuck this is that you're doing. It's shutting everybody the fuck up. Period. Good. But I feel like you had to like, um, some of y'all could have taken, you could have went to therapy or counseling or for some of you guys, you're your own healer. You know what I'm saying? That's just how powerful and strong you are. And nothing wrong with counselors or therapists, but I feel like you are one. And I feel like you're one to yourself too. So that, that is very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that really is. You're just naturally gifted in that way. So what's King of Wands reverse? Yeah, three of cups in the reverse. It's King of Wands reverse, three of cups reverse. Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles. Third party here that's doing some sort of, um, they're a tarot reader. Whoever this third party is that's gossiping about you, that's trying to ruin your reputation or trying to make it seem like you're not who the fuck you say you are, this third party is a damn tarot reader. Okay, whoever the fuck this is, they're a tarot reader or they do something ma with magic or they're into some esoteric knowledge or whatever the fuck this is. Page of Pentacles is studious. So I feel like whoever this is copying you or trying to be like you, they watching your ass to get information and that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, how else do we learn? But for you to copy someone and try to take their spot, you're a weak ass, weird ass hoe. And you know that. It's nothing wrong with admiring somebody. But you bitches really go too far. You take it too fucking far. That's, you're a hater. Hey, you're a hating asshole. And it's a very thin line with that shit. Admiring somebody is very different from taking a shit and trying to make it yours. Like, you're weird. You're weird. Like, bitches don't know how to manifest. They don't know how to work together. It's always, well, a competition. It's like, girl. And for some of you, this is about a fucking man. That you don't even want, that you moved on from, or maybe you did want them at once upon a time, but they didn't want you. Or you seen something weird about their ass too, so you moved on, or you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't got time. So, I don't know. King of Wands in Reverse, maybe this is a man that's bitter, that's competing with you, or they're using third-party hoes to do shit to you. They could be paying these hoes to do certain things, or whatever the fuck this is to you. What's the, what's the Three of Cups Reverse? Working with hoes to try to block you, stop you, whatever the fuck. 
the ace of swords yeah so maybe somebody here is losing friends or obviously you tell the truth through whatever it is that you do for work here or you're really obviously like i say you're really good at it but there's some sort of truth and clarity so the three of cups in reverse is somebody here losing friends or this could be like a lack of a social life meaning for me that somebody has lost a lost a bunch of people or something <clears throat> but the ace of swords is a breakthrough A lot of gossip in here, or what's three of cups reverse ace of swords? And you were telling the truth the whole damn time. It's like that's because these fake ass hoes don't want the truth about their ass to come out, you know. But the lovers and the lovers Gemini energy. So you were telling the truth about a third party, about a connection that somebody had, or. Maybe you were telling the truth about a connection you had with somebody. But the lovers is um, <clears throat> yin and yang. It's balance. It's a partnership, a union. So, I mean, I feel like you have, you are coming into union. You came into union with yourself, but you could be coming into union with somebody. I feel like, I feel like, right, I'm hearing right idea, wrong person. So these were the wrong people anyways to be thinking you're going to be in union with. Because none of them are. I feel like that emperor up there is who you're getting ready to be with. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, King of Wands reverse, they could be the same person or these could be different people along your path. Like, they all some fucking losers. And they all fucking, I guess they thought that you were weird or you wasn't, I don't know, they played you with third party hoes, pillow talking or whatever the fuck this is. A bunch of cheating and recklessness going on that you don't even know about. These motherfuckers, they come to you and y'all like divine feminists. Like, yeah, I'm single. I'm free of the hoes. You know, I'm ready to settle down or whatever. And then when you really, really show that you're a divine feminist, like they get scared and they run back to these hoes because they're comfortable over there. And these bitches are easy. So it's like they're going to let them come back home. As long as they come back home to me, I don't give a fuck. That's how these hoes be thinking. And that's why these damn King of Wands and reverse ass motherfuckers feel like they can do whatever they want. They couldn't do that shit with you. And that's why they stuck over there with you hoes. So have fun. <laughs> like divine feminist, we don't got time for that. Once we get a whiff of some shit, I know for me, I'm going to say it. I'm going to speak up about it. And if you don't like it, I guess we just going to fall out. And that's cool. I'm cool with falling out with motherfuckers. <laughs> Period. But I don't know. The lovers, um, this lovers is family values too. And, um. Somebody that aligns with your family values and your morals and shit. This could also be trust. You're learning how to trust more. Or these, these I feel like this is just representative. Representative. Am I saying that right? <laughs> I think I am. Of um the karmic connections you had to like go through. Yeah, you had to clear out some karma. Six of swords with the justice reverse. You had to clear out some sort of karma here. So I feel like there's a breakthrough with your connections. But I feel like there was a connection here, though. Somebody, you was telling the truth about somebody or you were trying to tell somebody something and they just didn't get it. But sure, I feel like you're getting confirmation now that what you were saying or what you were doing is the truth. And I feel like you've been new that shit, to be honest. But there's a third party here. Somebody wanted to take the third party side or gossip like a damn bitch, especially if this is a, a man. If you're a man here gossiping about a damn woman, you're a loser and you're down low. What's this damn page of pentacles? The two of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, what's... what's Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn, Jupiter. I feel like there's something to... Oh, okay, yeah, the moon in reverse. So, so the moon in reverse, something here is coming out about somebody being messy as fuck, obviously. I'm also getting something about sexuality or somebody like having sex. But I mean, the two of pentacles in reverse is not being able to adapt or being inflexible. Um, something here could definitely be coming out in a reading. Mm -hmm, this... Page of Pentacles, definitely something could be being revealed in a reading and now shit is hitting the fan. Two of Pentacles in reverse is somebody here 
overextending themselves. You were really trying to teach somebody something about their own fucking ego. And they still in the reverse. I guess now they just in the reverse because they didn't fail from grace, really. I mean, I don't know. But somebody was really inflexible. You were trying to reveal something to them. And they just... Mm. <laughs> somebody here is a cheater. That's what that is, too. Somebody's having an affair. They're cheating. This King of Wands in reverse, they're very reckless anyways. Very reckless. Yeah. And they over, they, like, somebody here bit off more than they can chew in the damn situation with the Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel like somebody is sloppy too. They messy with whatever the fuck they're doing. They don't know how to cheat. <laughs> like, somebody is just messy. They all over the fucking place. That's what I'm saying. Like, these people, they don't... This child, look, I don't know. I feel like there's something coming out too about something about sex. Like, I don't know if this is, I was channeling something in readings yesterday about STDs and all this dumb ass shit that somebody got going on. They sloppy as fuck. What's the Two Pentacles reverse? Yeah, look, Ace of Wands in the reverse. What's Two Pentacles reverse, Ace of Wands reverse? The Queen of Swords, yeah, this is you speaking some sort of truth or you cut somebody off. <clears throat> Ace of, yeah, look, Knight of Cups reverse, King of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody could have a sex addiction or somebody here could be sick. Okay. I feel like your spirit team is protecting you from this person. Yeah, confirmation. Your spirit team, retrograde Mercury moves into Leo. August 5th. To August 28th, where it will remain until the end of the its retrograde period. Oh, that's probably why the energy shifted. Retrograde Mercury's transition to Leo August 15th to through the 28th. What's today? 14. Yeah, when it, when retrograde Mercury moves into Leo, its influence changes. While in Virgo, the emphasis was on logic and analysts. In Leo, the energy becomes more creative and expressive. Leo is a fire sign symbolizing creativity, self-expression, and leadership. This period urges us to reconsider our personal goals and methods of self-expression. Retrograde Mercury and Leo encourages us to reevaluate how we present ourselves to the world. There is a need to revisit creative projects and approaches to self-expression. This is a time for refining and completing old projects, not for starting new ones. Key things, reevaluation of self-expression. You may feel the need to improve your public speaking skills <laughs> or revisit your creative projects. That's kind of like what I feel like today. I want to stop cursing these hoes out, man. I don't know, but that's generally is how I express myself, though. Like, you bitches coming from my readers looking stupid, I'm going to call you that. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Maybe I can do it nicer. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Communication challenges. It's important to be cautious in communication as your words may be misunderstood. Awakening creativity. Return to old projects and refine them. If you've been waiting for inspiration, it will come starting August 15th. Okay, I can't read all that, but, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, okay. So you could be at a distance from whoever this King of Swords is, Knight of Cups is, and damn reverse. Somebody is down low. They are. And I feel like this person, they sleep around a lot. Somebody could be sleeping with a friend of theirs. This man could be sleeping with a friend, a male friend of theirs or something. But this person is, for some of you, this could just simply be somebody here is lying about why they revoked their offer from you or why they haven't confronted you or something like that, child. Hmm. Yeah, King of Swords reverse, Knight of Cups upright. I mean, reverse, Queen of Swords upright. Mm. 
Yeah, if there's something about an STD here or something like that, th this person got it. Whoever this man is right here, they've been sleeping around. Or whoever this third person. I feel like, what I, what I said yesterday, I forgot in which reading, but there's multiple people, like, they all sleep around on each other. I don't know what this is. But I feel like you ain't got shit to do with it. And I feel like spirit saved your ass. Because if you was sleeping with this person, you'd stop sleeping with them just in time. Because I feel like you good. So I don't know, I don't know what this is about, but... This shit is a lie. And I feel like somebody trying to frame you or set you up on damn purpose. But you were telling the truth the whole time. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. I guess somebody was just in their ego. They were just disinterested or they didn't want to hear the truth or something like that. But the Ace of Wands in reverse is a lack of passion or um, delays or setbacks or trap. Somebody's just like trap. I feel like you tried to tell somebody something was a setup or it was a trap. Or this is just you. You knew it was a trap or a setup. Queen of Swords, you set boundaries. Like I said, you knew you would be disappointed. I feel like the more you set boundaries here, the more you like really, really seeing somebody for who they are, you really just started really removing yourself from them because it's just a lot going on that you really just don't know about somebody. And I feel like that's, that's your saving grace here. You being smart, analytical, logical about a situation you don't got time somebody here is reckless with their sex like they all over the damn place child king of pentacles reverse queen of pentacles reverse the hangman somebody here stuck with i feel like there's multiple people here that you don't know shit about these could be your exes you don't even know who the fuck they are because they hid their whole life from you probably when you was with them now they with karmic hoes and you're in your purpose you're able to see very clear about who these people are then you got a king of swords reverse that's down low i forgot where the knight of pentacles went it's just like a whole bunch of dumb shit going on. And spirit saved you and stopped you from all that shit. Like, you don't even know, like, these people. Or it's the same shape-shifting ass energy. I don't know. But what's the damn mechanical here? Thinking logically and without emotion. Yeah, the chariot. And that's what's got you at a victory. <laughs> like, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Not operating out of your, your emotions or moving off your emotions here and really making sense of a situation got you to the damn chariot. Willpower, this is willpower, carriage, triumphant, victorious. You really looking at the fine print of things and deciding whether to set yourself free from it or to stay in this shit. And you set yourself free. I feel like something here could have been deadly. Okay, like real shit. I don't know what this is. So, so the chariot is love winning too over hate here. This is just pushing through challenges, obstacles. What's the mechanical here with the chariot? Thinking logically and without emotion. Cancer energy. Okay, king of cups reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, they operate solely out of their fucked up, distorted emotions. Whoever this is, is just, they're a mess. And the four swords in reverse. Okay, yeah. This person here could be, um, <clears throat> whoever this is, they feel like they don't need counseling, therapy, or help. This King of Cups in reverse, too, is a cheater. They, they, this King of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse, they cheat, they lie. Very much so a gaslighter. And they're emotionally manipulative. Four swords in reverse, people could be awakening to this person, or this is you. But I feel like, honestly, this person cannot be feeling well. They're restless. They can't sleep. Or um, this is like a lack of faith or hope here with the four swords in reverse. With the king of cups in reverse like that. Yeah, it's like. Okay. What's four swords reverse? Libra, Jupiter. The king of pentacles reverse. Okay, wow. And the queen of pentacles reverse. Mm-mm. This could be a karmic couple here. For some of you, these people are being haunted. I feel like these two got to stay together. They both cheat on each other. Somebody here could have been sleeping with a man, though, I feel like. I, I don't know. Maybe the woman was or the man was. Or they both sleep, sleep around. Maybe they swingers or I don't fucking know. <laughs>
Queen of Pentacles in the reverse could be like a, a, a hoe. They sleep around. So is the King of Pentacles. They both greedy as fuck, superficial. This could be just a very transactional connection. So they both like sleep around on each other or they both agree to like do them but make money together or something like that. They both sick. I feel like they both are stuck together with their diseases. What's the King of Cups in the reverse? The Three of Wands. What's King of Cups reverse? Three of Wands. These could be people that you can just... Yeah, four of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reverse, Two of Cups reverse. <clears throat> this is a mess. And I feel like this shit for some of you, like I know me personally, honey. None of this shit is relevant in my life. It is this because it's rumors. You know what I'm saying? Like if people be people, these people are experts at having shit. <laughs> like I'm telling you, because I swear. I mean, I guess for some of you guys, I don't know. You getting ready to find out some shit, but honey, it's to the point where I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like have you guys found out about any of this yet? It's like have people come to you and expose this information to you? One eleven on the timer. You could be seeing mirroring number zero one zero one. You don't even know half of the shit that's going on. Like, this shit is stupid. It's like, what? Four of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You could be at a distance from someone. Um, Somebody is still holding on to you or keeping something close to their damn chest. Okay, King of Cups. This King, whoever this King of Cups is in reverse, I don't know who the fuck these people is, honey. But... What's this Four of Pentacles? The hangman, the shift in perspective or releasing something, letting it go. But it can't be that because four of pentacles, somebody is maybe you release them and you're moving forward, but they still holding on to your ass. And this is a karmic couple over here that's sick. They feel like they don't need help or they don't need something. And that's the problem. Child, please. What's the three of wands? The nine of wands here. Yeah, ongoing battle or this is you persevering and just moving forward. I don't know. <laughs> it's like this shit. Mm. Queen of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups. I mean, maybe this could be the same masculine. They just with a karmic hoe that they stuck with because they both. I feel like they both sick, honestly. And they trying to pin that shit on you for how? You ain't even with, no, with these people. What the fuck? You're not fucking either one of their asses. So I don't like, okay. I guess. Yeah, they could be in some sort of cult here. A sex cult, a coven, or whatever the fuck this is that they in. I don't fucking know. Yeah, five of swords reverse, justice reverse. For some of you, they asking where they go to jail and they know it. Nine of Swords here, the higher from reverse, they could be doing something. I don't know if they passing around something or what this is. Um Divine Feminine. But it ain't with you. You ain't doing shit with none of these people at all. I don't know what this is. They got a lot of freaky ass shit going on though. I know that. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, child, boy toy, object of sexual desire, good for one thing, short-lived. And it's a apathetic, could not care less, gives you the cold shoulder. Escapism, and running away from their problems. And then we got behind the boy toy card, underlying health issues, undiagnosed and unidentified, undisclosed, in denial and unaware, in too deep, no way out, emotionally invested, poetic, Justice, retribution, karma, woke. Let's see. <laughs> like, I, you know, alliances, unions, working together, strong bonds to win, fake friend, pretender, jealous, insecure, wishes to see you fail, frenemy, smoke and mirrors, misleading and embellishing. Child, it's like people be trying to turn on y'all and they end up turning on each other. It's like, it's like you bitches are fucking stupid. 
Y'all are so dumb. I don't know if this is a common couple and the woman in the in the in the relationship allows the man to have sex with other men and I mean they all can have sex with each other. I look, I don't know, man. But I'm just I'm definitely channeling um a lot of I'm here I'm I'm channeling a lot of drug abuse too or I feel like these people have too. If they are they could be they could have a lot of ritual parties and things like that to manifest like they could all be doing sex magic and just a whole bunch of dumb ass shit going on that you don't know nothing about you ain't even involved in no shit like that this could be a common couple that try to get you to like be with them at some point you like no and they try to probably do it in a very slick way this is like what the fuck rumor monger listens to gossip or spreads rumors Oh, okay. Let's see. Class clown laughs through their pain. Does not take things seriously. Masking. Finds amusement in suffering of others. Secret stash. Stockpiling away. Keep secrets. Keep Keeping things hidden. Entanglement. Third party. Outsiders, messy, busybodies, web of lies. Divine masculine. Opposites attract, new and exciting. I'm telling you, this is a new, whoever this is right here, if you thought any of these damn men in the reverse or women or whatever the fuck was your divine masculine, because you could definitely be a divine feminine as a man, right? You're just more in your feminine energy, whatever the fuck. You're definitely getting a new masculine, man or woman. This is new, some of you guys. I feel like you're getting somebody new, totally new, that is your divine masculine. Or it's like for some of you guys, because I'm seeing it, there could be somebody that um you had to let go in the past that you actually had a really good relationship with. They didn't do anything wrong to you, per se. It's just people have to heal and do some sort of work on themselves. But I feel like you're the real divine masculine. Man or woman is going to be loving, caring. They're not going to leave you when times get tough. They're not going to fucking ghost you for, for a fact. To be with no damn third parties, they're not going to cheat on you, lie, or whatever the fuck that is. So that could be some of y'all have people from your past that are like that. That could be coming back because it's time for y'all to, to join forces together. And then others of you, you're getting something new. Or you're divine. They, they, you did have somebody that was a divine masculine and they fell from grace and they wanted something new and exciting. They don't, they're, they get bored quick. They, they don't, they don't like to stay. And that was their test was like their test was to not be like that like control yourself have some sort of discipline sir ma'am like okay now somebody is laughing okay what's secret stash <laughs> what's secret stash i feel like yeah this caught in the act self-incriminating offenses somebody here could be going to jail for doing some sort of uh fraud or identity theft or i mean yeah that could have been that we got snatched. Yeah, somebody here, you had a divine masculine here, but I feel like they fell from grace. They got caught up somewhere. So now you're getting something new, to be honest. Or, you know, this person was tested, but I feel like they failed. They failed their mission. So we got snatched. Too Extremely too hot to handle. Very attractive. Loaded. Deep pockets. Big spender. Loves to spoil. Enjoys life. Fishing, casting hope, wishing for success, patiently waiting for opportunities or something better. Yeah, somebody got caught trying to steal your inheritance. Like this could be spiritual that this is, that uh, somebody somebody sees that you're a big spender or you got money and you're attractive, so they decided to what go against you in that in that way with a third party. What's what's entanglements? Third party outsiders, messy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like this is some mess underlying health issues undiagnosed and unidentified undisclosed and in denial and unaware that's what i'm saying disappearing acts now you see them now you don't yeah what's third party whoever this is that keeps ghosting or identity theft 
someone else fitting the bill, stealing others' ideas, or partner, pretending to be someone they are not. Yeah, this, this third party set this person up. So, I mean, this, this contract is over with them. You can't do shit with them. They failed. They mission. I mean, I don't know. Simp, doing too much for someone, going overboard. Yeah, gold digger. Like, living rent-free gold digger. Like, somebody's a mooch. <laughs> They're a leech here. Ponzi scheme. Too big is going to fail. Con artist, schemer. Rumor monger. Listens to gossip or spreads rumors. How the fuck do you people be falling for this shit, man? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. What's So, we got controlling. The toxic key to your mind watches your every move. What's Ponzi scheme? Nine four nine is on the clock. New beginnings, accepting ch accepting changes that might bring good things to you. So that's in the reverse. Somebody didn't go towards a new beginning that they had. What else? Mm -mm -mm. Infatuation. Too hot, too heavy, too soon, won't last, shouldn't last. Boastful. <laughs> Somebody is so flashy. They like for people to boast and brag about what they got. And this bitch, whoever this is that they got caught up with, they don't got nothing. They don't got shit to be bragging about. Somebody Is somebody delusional? 11-11 <laughs> on the timer. Bragger, self-promotes, showcases their achievements, possessions, or advantages. And somebody ain't got shit. I feel like they fucking... Child, please. Fanatic, obsessive, all in your face. What's rumor monger? Mending. <laughs> Correcting wrongs, fixing, asking for forgiveness. Divinely guided, angel number synchronicities. So this could be how somebody tried to get you caught up here. By trying to like, because you could have fell out with this person in the past. I don't know if this is your ex or something, but they could have tried to like get you back. Like to get you back like in the bedroom and get you, you know what I'm saying? But you, you've you been divinely guided. Your synchronicities and, and your symbols here from your spirit team could have told you not to do that. Yeah, stable, firmly fixed and reliable. That This is you, fixed. You could be a fixed sign towards Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Like it's hard to change your mind. I know as a fixed sign myself. I'm stubborn like that when I but I'm stubborn like in the sense when I know something is right I'm not going to budge like I'm not moving you're not going to move me what's what's a rumor monger somebody wanted you to get caught up or or so they can prove so they can have evidence on you with like they wanted to get you caught up they try to frame your ass that's what the fuck they try to do they try to set you up and you didn't fall for it Somebody here pretended like they wanted to fix things or they pretended like they wanted to do something and I feel like you didn't fall for it. You don't want to fix shit. Yeah, bitter. Hard pill to swallow. Painful to accept. Exactly. Somebody bitter wanted you to fix something or or this is somebody here trying to warn. Okay, yeah, some, so somebody here fixed something with the rumor, with the, with the person starting the rumors here. And they, they were bitter. And this, I feel like this person gave somebody something. And it wasn't you. This somebody here reconciled with a third party, and the third party gave their ass something. Purposely, somebody's going to jail for that shit. Somebody's going to jail for that. That that's definitely a criminal offense. What's uh controlling? Unsent messages, scribbling without sending. So somebody did send something. Longing, missing someone, wanting you back, access, baggage, the past is weighing them down, obligations, responsibilities, possibilities, secret life, living a double life, withholding secrets, safeguarding, keeping things hidden, long-term investment. Yeah, this, you know, you really got to thank spirit at the end of the day, man, because they saved y'all from a lot of fucking shit here. They sure did. What's this longing here? Mama's boy in the reverse. Her opinion is the most important place is mother above everyone else. Yeah, look, exposed. The bitch was exposed or whatever this is. So somebody here misses you or whatever the fuck this is or what's uh, unsent messages? What they send? Some of y'all got somebody blocked. Stupid. 
salty, bitter, angry, and agitated, jealous, and resentful. Somebody, somebody realizes something about this damn karmic feminine that they sat up here and laid around with or slept around with or whatever. Yeah, whoever this is, hot and cold, extreme inconsistency, roller coaster ride of emotions. Somebody you need to get their life together. Unchanged, unaltered, and living in the past. Party animal. Life of the party, social butterfly, in the scene, in the streets, having more fun, abundance, full of air. Says a lot while saying nothing at all. Admiring from afar. <laughs> that's how, that's the only thing that they can do. Extraterrestrial, out of this world, nothing like they have seen before. Evil eye. Yeah, they put a spell on you. You're protected and flings. Wild things, short-lived, comic connections, homelessness. This person, this person got some shit. And they're under, like I said, these people get together, they do spell work, and they they fuck hoes together or something like that. Or this is what this person is into or something. That's why, I, okay. Moved on in the reverse. This is, does not make the heart grow fonder. Leaving the past behind, yeah. But blindsided. Didn't see coming out of nowhere, unaware. Yeah, but somebody was trying to tell your ass. The fuck? Globetrotter, adventurous, jet setter. Then we have obstructing, cock blocking, hindering connection. Yeah, so now somebody's thinking about you. What's blindsided? <laughs> they're running back to you. You're loyal. They're not. Realizes their mistake. And then we got surreptitious. A naughty secret. A secret affair. Absolutely the fuck not. You and your damn STDs. Y'all need to stay over there. Like real shit. Don't come running back over here. That's crazy. Legal matters. Not eat romantically. Angelic ancestors. <clears throat> they got your back. Cheer squad. Yeah, you don't got time for that shit. Now they want to run back with their, with their baggage. Absolutely not. What, what else? Cleaning house, eliminating undesirables. Yeah, I feel like that's you. You don't even desire this person. Spirit is blocking the connection energetically. The spirit don't even want you to be thinking about this person or even wanting to fuck this person or anything like that. You don't got time. Man, somebody don't go to the doctor enough for me. <laughs> Let's start there. Private investigator, inspector gadget, digging dirt and living rent free. Can't get you out of my head on your or their mind. Escapism, running away from their problems, and evil eye. Somebody here still getting caught up with magic and shit. It's like, sir, ma'am, get the fuck on. Get on. <laughs> Go about your business, honey bun. We don't need the drama, please. Y'all, y'all too weird. <laughs> y'all too. Y'all, y'all not clean enough for us. Please move on. Female spying and opportunist. It's not you, it's them. A lesson is being repeated. Yeah, feeling regret. I'm sick because I want you. What's going on? Boundaries. Yeah, children are the topic of discussion right now. Okay. Incoming messages. Passion. Fishing around. Abundance. Yeah, no. <laughs> Somebody did it. Whoever this is, is just... I, I don't know if it's a spell work that got this person like this or what that shit is. Give me a card here for, for, for Divine Feminine. Don't let your pride get in the way. Full Moon and Leo. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So it says, have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it could become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a dead deadlock that has developed. More, lo mo more love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've been doing as you would be, as you've not been doing, as you would be done by lately. This is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all your relationships. 
So it says, attune to the moon. Be magnificent without being plain too much. The additional meanings for this card is self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Work some magic. And a friendship may be ending now. Yeah, I feel like your friendship with this damn person. I feel like they friend zoned you anyway, and that's good. I'm glad, you know, if they didn't friend zone you and you still would have fucked around with this person while they was dealing with this third party, baby, you would have got caught up. So be thankful. <laughs> like, for real. The teaching. When the full moon comes into when the full moon comes into Leo, it can be a wonderfully bright time where people feel more confident to show the world their talents and assets. That's the upside of this lunation and of this card, no matter when you pull it. However, take note that the Leo full moon combination creates a sort of tension between your needs and the needs of people in your networks. Leo full moon is a time to release pride. Okay, I guess. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. What else? I got the stank face. Because some is stank. <laughs> this energy is... What else is coming in for Divine Feminine so I can go? 959 on the clock. A secret that has been kept from you will soon be revealed. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Okay. You will begin to share more intimate moments with a person of interest that will create a closeness and bond that you have not experienced with anyone else before. Okay. It ain't going to be these people. I can tell you that right fucking now. Whoever your new masculine is, <laughs> that's who the fuck you getting dirty and down, getting down and dirty with, period. Because it ain't these damn people. They the real down and dirty. You getting ready to have some safe, beautiful, loving times with somebody. But it say you may soon clean times with somebody. <laughs> you may soon face a minor setback towards an intended goal. Don't allow this to discourage you. You may just need to revisit and reevaluate your game plan in order to formulate a new approach. A time of expansion and strengthening of your spiritual abilities is near. Bridges will soon be mended. An apology from someone close to you will soon come in, creating the opportunity to make amends. Okay. Someone who you wouldn't expect to will make it known that they have feelings for you. You will soon rise above a conflict that has challenged you in the past. Excuse me. Which will allow you to move forward towards happier times ahead. You may find yourself overwhelmed with juggling priorities and dealing with many demands and responsibilities at this time. Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter if you make room by clearing out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you and the expectation that they will change. Create the change you desire. Within this year, there will be a reconciliation with someone from your past. And it says good news will soon find you, which will be followed by a life-changing opportunity of incredible growth, abundance, security, and stability. So yeah, you know, people want to make amends now. They want to apologize. I feel like that's cool. You accept the apology. Why not? <laughs> like you ain't the one tripping or got shit going on like that. You're good. Why not accept the apology? It's for you, not for them, really. They did what they did. And you're doing what you're going to do, which is move on peacefully without the drama. This is their mess. So this was your reading, um, Divine Feminines. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all buttons so you guys don't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.